Hi, Dr. Johnson. I'm Matthew Price. I teach middle school at uh, Bessemer City Middle School. I teach history. Uh, so I teach ancient history. And right now we are just now getting into Islam. But I have been reading our textbook. I've got um, this far. So it is very, very interesting. And uh, I guess the part that I would like to include in my blog about this is that the first story that she that she tells in the book is uh, very relatable because I've had several instances where <clears throat> I had some wonderful lesson planned, or at least I thought I did. Then when I got in there and started it with the kids, I had people acting up or you know disrupting the class and and never really got around to doing or or teaching anything. And that happens, I guess, in almost every classroom from time to time, but some consistently. So uh, I, I really appreciate the advice that is given in the book. <clears throat> and uh, there's, But it did take me on a bit of a rabbit hole because I found out about Linda Christensen and her, uh, she has a publication, she's working out in Oregon uh, and rethinking schools. And so I had to go look that up and climb down that rabbit hole. And then when I found out in our the video about Oklahoma, I didn't know that the legislature had been so spiteful. Since I have a master's in political science, that was very interesting to me. So I went down that rabbit hole as well. And uh, now I know way too much about Oklahoma's um, situation than anybody teaching in Alabama really needs to know. But rabbit holes aside, um, <clears throat> this, how can I put it, mantra, I don't know, uh, of classroom management and the balance between um, I guess justice for students who are in the class and, and deserve to be taught they and the ones who are disrupting the class and deserve to get kicked out and you use that word deserve you know it, because I don't have a better vocabulary but that point is a very difficult thing to to define and uh, as somebody coming from a philosophy background so uh, yeah trying to talk about that little little place how do you know when it's time to uh take a break take a pause pull a kid aside give the encouragement the positive reinforcement and when you just say whoa stop i've had it get up you know you're going to the office um that that little and you have to make that decision in in a few seconds it's it's not like you can take notes on it, think about it during your planning period, and then get back to the kid the next day. You you have to act right then. And so it's it's that's the reason why I guess experienced teachers are better at it because they have the muscle memory, so to speak, uh, to, to make those decisions. But this helps. This does help. And um, I'm looking forward to getting farther into this. And I know I'll, I'll probably run over on this slide if I start talking about it because I love politics. I uh, spent uh, half of my undergrad and then years in, in graduate school studying political science and, and politics and public administration. And <clears throat> so the idea of activism, of social justice, and this way of looking at the written word is very exciting to me because... Uh, I tell my students all the time that really everything that matters is written down. That's, you know, you make another can of soup, you make another car, okay, whatever. Material things are just plentiful and they come and go, you know. Uh, but our thoughts are not. And it, se it seems like thoughts are free because we just constantly have them, you know. But real thoughts that are well thought out that are planned out and that explain things very well that's what makes our society run that's what the constitution is that's what the law is that's what all of literature is that's what anything that you study in school every academic is just a genre of literature that's what um, philosophy is a particular genre of literature that's all it is and so is the law it's just a genre of literature if you if you can't read if you can't comprehend the written word and if you can't use it then you don't have power in, in society. So I could rant about that. Uh, I don't know how long this, oh, I'm fixing to hit the five minute mark. So 
I will. <laughs> I will pick up next time.